mole pin to work its way out and all of a sudden then our split pin Hi there, welcome back to another one of my videos. This could be something really interesting for people and you can do it really easy. It's a dead simple uh, modification and it's all about wrist action. Let's go and have a look. Okay, for this experiment, all we're gonna be needing is some lock wire, a ring-ended spring, not too strong, and a 5mm split pin. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a returning throttle. So really easy, anybody can do it and it's dead handy especially if you're going racing and they demand a re self returning throttle so you don't throttle doesn't stick on. This stops all the throttle sticking on. So handy little trick handed down to me by uh, uh, a very special friend of mine lives in Tenerife and I think it was handed down to him by uh, probably somebody else but never mind I'm gonna show it to you now but yeah this is probably handy for people who are going racing and stuff like that and you're entering the newcomers you're a bit of a freshman and you don't know all the little tricks of the trade so for sure you're gonna buy yourself some lock wire for your drain plugs so this will be handy in this little job that I'm gonna show you now right I've got to found a crusty old set of GP handlebars out and I've set us up a little throttle here so what we're going to do is we're going to get our spring slot it onto our split pin thusly if it'll go on should do come on baby so it's now on that end like that then our split pin we will stick through our throttle like so spin it round and then open it up on the back with our pliers if we can to stop it popping out okay so now we've got a return spring so now we've got to fix it into the handlebar so it means drilling a very small hole in your handlebars here to create a, a locating point there so we're going to get a drill and we'll have a little drill job here and don't forget to buy sticky's uh, kit book you know it makes sense it's the best book on the market because i said so right we're going to drill a small hole right in here and that's what this is why we need our lock wire right that's our small hole and we're just going to take a small snippet of this lock wire thread it through the hole And this is now going to locate our spring because our spring is going to get slipped onto this thusly and then we can twist our lock wire to hold it into place oh, and a big thumbs up to Phil one of my uh, one of my subscribers one of my favorite channel watchers cheers Phil I know you like my channel see you later on those pliers a little bit more so it's a bit tighter Okay, I'll just snip the rest off with our snips and 
we should have now a self-returning throttle. So you don't need a heavy spring because all you're doing is aiding the throttle spring in the in your carburetor. So it's just to give it that extra little bit. Simple. things about the split pin is that when you're racing you don't want the uh, the roll pin to work its way out and all of a sudden you've got no uh, throttle so the split pin is never going to come out because it's uh, bent over at the ends so it's just a safer system so seeing I was watching the Teesside uh, 6 the other day so I was really impressed with the guys in the UK doing really really well in their racing and they're enjoying the endurance racing that we've been doing here in Spain for a long time now I've been into it for the last eight or nine years so we're off very very soon to Campijo for our uh, next race and that will be on the 24th and 25th of this month don't forget stick his kit book or buy it online get the link down below you know it makes sense it's fantastic and he's a T6 winner Woohoo! Brilliant, mate. Well done. See you again soon.